Alrighty, what's going on today, guys? We are out here with the entire collection. So, I recently just filled this box all the way up, so I had to start throwing some other ballast songs into the other little soft case. So I decided it's probably time to do a full ballast song case review and show you guys my entire collection, what I currently have. And yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and start with this case, and then we'll slowly work our way down into this guy. So this one has most of my just main ballast songs. These are sort of like the extras, but I'll just start from this end, go all the way down, and then we'll touch on these two guys that are up at the top. So starting on this end, we have the BA Bally's Sagaya. This thing is super nice, really like it. Um, titanium channel, speed channels. It's a trainer blade. This guy's really nice. Really enjoy flipping this one. So we got the Sagaya. And then a new addition is the Seraph configured with an Opus blade, also titanium. This one is a Chanwich design though. So you get a little bit different sound. Super nice, really like this guy. Flips super smooth, really nice tolerances on him. Um, then we got our Squid Industries Cracker Rackin. This is the one that I had speed channeled by Ty Flips over on Instagram. Super cool guy, if you want speed channeling done, hit him up. Super fast, it only takes him like a day to get it done, shipped out. Really cool guy as well. Um, but yeah, here's our blue Kraken with the hardware swap. And then we have an LDY series. This is the V2 that I have. This guy's really fun to flip. It feels, it's super light compared to a Kraken. Um, I don't think it's a Kraken killer like people say, but super, super smooth. Really like this guy. Um, wish it had a little bit more um, texturing grip wise, but flips really nice and it sounds amazing. Um, and then the V3, V3 Kraken trainer. It's okay. It's definitely an improvement from the V2.5, but um, I don't know. Still does not compare to the real live blade Kraken in terms of weight and balance because this one actually has less tip weight than the V2 had. So, yeah. Could be better. Then we have the obviously the purple Polaris. This thing is really nice. I highly recommend this one. Um, not only does it sound amazing, it flips really nice. It's got super nice jimping on it. All of the anos that they have, the red, blue, and the purple, look super amazing. Um, they're really bright and vibrant. They're not dull. And this thing. This thing sounds absolutely amazing. Flips super nice. Um, I haven't had any problems. Um, still no tap. Show you guys play real fast. I'll show. But yeah, very little, very little play. Super nice. Um, then we have the Talisong Z. Um, this one is on uh, bearings, not bushings. Um, they are coming out with a bushing one, so I definitely have to get that one so I can do the comparison. But yeah, this thing's actually, actually for a bearing knife, this isn't actually that bad. Um, I did have the Max Ace Covenant, and I did like a, you know, between flipping the two, this one's definitely the better option for a bearing knife. It's not as, um, I guess, fast. This one's a little bit easier to control, and the balance is pretty nice on it. Sounds cool as well. Then we have the um, Arctic. I'm not going to flip this one too much because this is for sale. So if you want to, if you want to go ahead and buy this, it's available on my website. Link is down in the description. You can check this out. Um, I got it listed below retail because there is um, let me find it one small ding at the bottom of that left handle. Probably won't come in on the camera. But anyways, really nice. Glider products always hold their tolerances really, really well. Um, yeah, super nice tolerances on that guy. 
Then we have the Christmas edition Antarctic. Only 100 of these were made. This guy is also for sale. That didn't damage it. <laughs> this guy is also for sale. Um, so mint condition. Yeah, like. Sounds amazing as well. This guy is listed at um, regular price just because there was only 100 of these made. And brand new mint condition comes in the box, comes with everything. So yeah, check out the sewer for sale on my website, link in description. Then we have the, the Hypex trainer. Um, this thing's fun to flip um, in terms of like, is it the best flipper or the best trainer ballast song? I'd have to give it a no, but it is fun. Um, it has a nice sound to it. Um, I'd been looking at getting one of these for a while, and when I saw that he was restocking them, I had to grab one. It does have a little bit of tap. I just haven't locked out of this guy. Um, but yeah, um, something else to note, these are tunable Zen pens. He is, I have talked to him and confirmed that he is switching to press fit, which is a huge plus because tuning tunable Zen pens is a pain in the butt. I don't recommend them. Um, um, the one Tsunami clone. Um, I did like a little custom hardware swap. This is actually LDY Sirius hardware in this guy, just so it's a little bit stronger. But yeah, this guy is super nice. Um, I got it with the um, Burning Silver Anno. If you guys can see that. Pretty nice. Looks nice. Tolerances are pretty good. This is pinless as well, so... Held up pretty nice. Really like that guy. And then the other one we got up here is the, the Pali, Bali Plus version of the Tsunami. Um, I do like the one version better. They both flip, but the one version is definitely, definitely better than this guy. No tap on him. But yeah, super nice. So yeah, that's mostly, that's going to be it for this case. Um, as I said, these are like my main, this is my main collection right there. Go ahead and drag this guy over. Oh, how'd you get up there? So, got a couple different battle songs in here. This is mostly just like what's left over. Um, the Yuppie 75, 7075 Kraken, um, False Edge, whatever, clone. <laughs> that I got the wrong one from <laughs> frickin' um, Cola Song. Don't buy shit from him, please, guys. Sorry for my swearing, but I mean, honestly, just don't buy it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, don't recommend this guy at all. Tap. Doesn't flip anything like the original Kraken. Um, yeah. This blade is the... Whatever the work they did to this thing, I mean, this thing is, like, completely unfinished terrible. Um, obviously the Mark, the original Ballast Song that started the channel. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're starting off, it flips. Um, the amazing, beautiful Glow Mod. You know, people get so angry about this thing, but it's fun to flip. I mean, in the dark, this thing looks super cool. I did like a video on it. You can dig back. Um, let me flip in this in the dark. It's fun. He's got, Jake also does a lot of custom work on these things, so it's not just like this this one color. You can have whatever colorway you want. Um, the Chimera clone. I think this is by the one. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. It flips. Um, these handles are really wide though, um, compared to other things. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Um, but yeah, it flips. Um, I stripped the screws on it, so it's got like a ton of tap and play. I didn't show you guys that, yeah. But I sort of like that that beater sound. It's held up really nice. Um, sometimes the the edges on this blade though are not very forgiving. But anyways, that's the collection. You can go ahead and do the math to see how much money I've wasted on these things. <laughs> I mean, just right here, that's twelve hundred dollars these two. Yeah, this 
This guy was like 650. This one's 600. So yeah, you do the math. But yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Um, I will be doing a serif, a full serif review um, coming later this week if I get more good weather. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, super long video, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.